Come through, queen. I want to see you come through, queen. Hi, everyone. It's Dan. And Brendan. And this is Come Through, Queen. Hey, Brendan. Hello, Daniel. Well, before we get into it, I do want to give a shout out. We do have a Patreon pre-show this week, which is a lot of fun, going into our time in D.C., mm-hmm. uh, but we saved the Candace of it all for here in main episode. Yes. And you also have a, a, a bonus episode that is kind of an indictment on social media culture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are finding out who has the most followers of the Housewives on Instagram, who has the least uh, of each city who has the most, who has the least. Yeah, and at the end we come to some conclusions on whether or not this exercise is good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned. Actually, it's so funny. <laughs> but um, So we got to talk about Deep Space, the tour, Candace. City Winery. City DC. Winery. The City Winery tour. Because it was City Wineries across the nation. Yes. Um, I would suggest eat before you get there. Mm. Yeah. I mean, the, the the thing is, like, we are making suggestions right now. However, sadly enough, it was the last stop on the tour. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would have loved, in support of Candace, for it to have been the first and us to be singing its praises. Maybe she'll extend. Mm. Yeah. Oh, kind of like when it's like, oh, surprise, another leg. Yeah. There's. I mean, there's city wineries that have not entered deep space yet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I You are starting with the negative, I would say. No, I'm spinning it into a possible positive. Oh, it's like, oh, like, go have a nice night out to eat. Yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah, City Winery, I've never been, I know there's one in New York I've never been to. I've been to Cine Vineyard in mm. New York. It's it's owned by the same company, oh. but it's two different things. City Vineyard is actually where they went Leah's first season yes. on Roni, about where the they tattoos. sit on the roof and they talk about the tattoos. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I think... We have friends who were with us who had been to City Winery in New York Mm -hmm. and said it was like a slightly different experience, yeah, food and drink wise. Mm -hmm. I mean, like when you're going to a place titular winery, you're gonna be like, "Oh, let me try your finest wine." (laughs) And it was it was given juicy juice, Mm -hmm. Um, but like that was really the least of our worries. It was just kind of magical to be in that space with these people. Like we got there. Not early because the doors were opening at six, but mm-hmm. on the earlier side for sure. So we were sitting waiting to blast off for quite a while. Yeah, and, and that's on us. And but it was it was good because when we got to see like Chris Bassett surveying the scene, we missed our chance with him though. I know. So because at the end of it, you were like wanting to go find Chris, and Chris wasn't anywhere to be found. Yeah. Well, like you were you were pressuring me to go say hi to Chris in the beginning, and I was like, what am I gonna say? Like, I would have had something to say at the end, and that is, congratulations, your wife did an amazing job. Wow. And that's re- legitimately what I wanted to say. She she did. Like, you must be so proud. Yeah. Because, let me tell you guys, one of the best concerts I've ever been to. I'm not being crazy or funny. It was such a fun time. It was fun. I think, number one, it's like, we're front row, baby. Mm-hmm. Like, we're in the front section. We were, like, five feet from her. So, like, I felt the energy. Number two, she can sing. She definitely can sing. Yeah. And she's singing live. We got the backup girls dancing. She's throwing some moves in there, too. We've got some guests. We've got guests. We had... Did we... We started with a guest. Mm -hmm. That was KP underscore, Mm -hmm. I believe. And she was a lot of fun. Um, she's kind of given Lil Mo for those of you who might remember back in the day, like Superwoman. Mm -hmm. Um, so she was a lot of fun, but then like during halftime and like this could have gone many different ways because obviously we're having so much fun with, with Candace and then all of a sudden someone else is coming out. Exactly. Cause like you don't really get that in concerts. You get, you get openers. You get openers. You don't get intermission i mean like sometimes like taylor swift will welcome people to the stage but they're not getting a set yeah it'll be like troy savon doing one song with her Mm -hmm. i gotta say major 
Period. His I think the, the the like the stylization is major. Period. Okay. Yeah. He brought us to church. He put on quite the two or three song show, mm. and like we were on our feet, like feeling it. He was like turn the reverb up. He got the whole room shaking, swaying, mm-hmm. crying. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Mm-hmm. It was beautiful. Dan and I were on our feet probably like oh, twenty times. Well. Interestingly enough, you would think I would be leading the standing ovations, but Brendan kept giving every song a standing <laughs> ovation. She deserved it. And like the the humor of it is like, I know every song on the album. I don't. Brendan <laughs> does not. <laughs> so and so he's like she's performing a song and he's like, oh my God, I'm like so happy you performed that. Probably only heard it once before in his life. I heard it once before in the car on the way down to DC. Yeah. Which Jamie got in trouble for for whispering over during. <laughs> got in trouble. <laughs> no, she got in trouble. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was great. My one note I would have given her is I believe I and I was being a psycho taking um, set list notes because mm-hmm. like if you look online, there was n- I could not find the definitive Deep Space Tour set sure. list, uh, but I took those notes. I think she performed three songs from the deluxe album. Mm -hmm. And I would have suggested like one, like give us one taste. Cause like, we don't know it, you know? Um, But sometimes you can enjoy songs you haven't heard before. Like I did. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, you can. You you definitely can. Um, Especially when they're performed so well. Yeah. I got merch. Oh yeah. You got a fan. I got a huge fan that I'll probably never have an opportunity to use again. It is the biggest fan I've ever seen. <laughs> it is. And it's like the, it's the butter knife moment. Mm. Her, the, the official come through queen, most iconic moment for Candace. Exactly. Yeah. And then Alex and I got uh, the same white, the black and white t-shirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it was such a fun night. Like if she does this again and she's coming to your city. she go. You should definitely go. And I think I talked about this in maybe it was with Liz or you or someone, but like to me, this is like a hundred times better than BravoCon. Like what an intimate, fun experience. Whereas like BravoCon feels like chaos. To As me. somebody who's done both, you're mm. wrong. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, I got to mention, we strategically picked our seats near a row of tables that were, blocked out Mm -hmm. thinking that we're going to be sitting next to the dolls. Mm -hmm. There was nary a girl there. No other housewives supported. And we were in hometown. We were in hometown. So what's going on here? Well, I mean, it's, she obviously isn't really getting along with anyone right now. Not what? Where's a Scala? That was where I, what I was screaming. Where's a Scala? I mean, she could have been there and I missed it, but mm-hmm. like I was on the lookout. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, cannot wait for Deep Space Deluxe. Maybe Deep Space Deluxe will usher in the new leg and New York will be a stop. We, we don't have to travel for four hours. Right. Speaking of leg, one of her outfits, she was wearing Ooh. a pantsuit with only one leg. It's given, it's like Angelina Jolie 2022. Yeah, exactly. Angelina Jolie in deep space. In deep, that's like, this is what she would wear if she was in outer space. Exactly. I'm like still smiling ear to ear. I'm not even like joking. Like, remember how miserable I was after the Gaga tour? Yeah. And like, I'm still happy from the Candace tour. Oh my God. It just, it just goes to show like different strokes for different folks. Speaking of which, are you going to go to the era tour? Um, I, the problem is... It's a Memorial Day weekend here locally for mm-hmm. us locals in Jersey. And it's like, that's not really the... I love that she's focusing on weekends, but it's not the vibe for her to be doing it Memorial Day weekend in New York. And then like to go back to MetLife. Ooh. Whatever happened to the fest? I don't know. Also, I have a tip Ooh. for singers. <laughs> Don't go to MetLife. Yeah, that's a pro tip. <laughs> go to Madison Square Garden. Oh my God. That, no, go... City go, Field. Go to City Field. I'm sorry. City Field cannot hold that many fewer people than MetLife. I don't really know football, baseball, but... 
Probably I think does. it's smaller. Yeah, it is, it is smaller, but then do one more night for the fans. For the for the fans. <laughs> Come on. I don't know. MetLife is a hard pill to swallow. Maybe there's like another weekend where we can go somewhere. Maybe. If, uh, she should do City Winery DC. City Winery for, for like the super fans. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, the narrative in DC was Dan is. Is Dan a Midnight's fan? <laughs> and He's the biggest Midnight's fan. I, I don't know if that's true or false, but we'll see at the era store, I guess. <laughs> wow. All right. We have, we have shows. We have to do, um, catch up with Winter House. Obviously, we're continuing our trend of being a little on a delay with Winter mm-hmm. House, but it's like, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I think <laughs> the, the problem is recapping Winter House is we'll like, we'll, we'll state feelings and then watch the new episode and feel differently. Feel about completely <laughs> different. Because <laughs> like right now, we're going to be talking about how excited we are about the Toms coming mm-hmm. and then they could ruin it. For we'll get we tired know. of them. Yeah. So who knows about that? Uh, we left off like thinking like, is Luke driving drunk right now? But it's production taking him to a hotel. We know that for sure? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah no. In the show, it was like, oh yeah, production took me to a hotel oh. for the night. Yeah. Um, I'm glad he came back, I guess. Yeah. I mean, he's dr- like the driving force of the major plot point mm-hmm. of this season thus far. It's interesting because you always forget about him. But then like when he's on the scene, he's doing stuff. Well, he did nothing during Summer House. Exactly. But now he's doing stuff. Well, actually, the, the humor of him doing nothing in Summer House is he was actually planting seeds, being away Fourth of July weekend mm-hmm. with the bros mm-hmm. for, no. for drama to ensue in Winter House. Yeah, not letting them use fireworks. <laughs> not, not, and like, how dare he not let them use fireworks? If you were to come stay at my house and I had fireworks stored in your room, <laughs> would you assume that they were for you to use? <laughs> Unless it was like on the bed in like a Bethany skinny girl bag. Yeah. <laughs> With my initials on it, I would not assume those fireworks were for me to... And even yeah. then, I would think, oh, these are for me to take home and use at my leisure. Or just, like, ask. Yeah, yeah. But but not only not ask, but, like, I want to do it. Like, like, not be like, oh, I'm sorry I was doing yeah. this. <laughs> Craig is such a little B. He's a little B. He was being a little B while Paige was on her Amazon call and the... In the central point of the, <laughs> of the house. <laughs> Although she later explained, I think, on Watch Women's Live that, like, everyone hangs out in the kitchen mm-hmm. area and not that area. I don't know. Do it in your bed. But then I guess it's, like, weird taking a call in a bed. It's normal to take calls in your bedroom these days. I know, but in the bed? Like, maybe she doesn't have a desk in that bed? Put the laptop on the bed and like kneel on the floor if, if anything <laughs> <I'm> pray <laughs> should she be praying during her amazon it's just drop? so a- aesthetics mm. okay yeah sure sure uh the boys go skiing and the girls stay home for austin to arrive mm-hmm. and i want to point out something that maybe not everyone noticed the girls are eating pasta for lunch and then when they cooked family dinner later that night, made pasta again for a second time. Do you think it's weird editing where it's like, they, it was a different day? No, because I think every episode it's like, this person arrives. Yeah. Like this person arrives. This but person if you think about it, in the winter, what do you want to eat? Pasta. Uh, listen, in, injected into my veins. Yeah. Am I a pasta fan? Yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I guess also the other thing is like, if you're cooking for 10 people, what are you going to make? Class is a pretty easy thing to yeah. make. Yeah. Uh, we're speed dating as well. <laughs> Which is like, we are we have to play so many games with this group. You, you kind of have to, though. Yeah, but it, it's like a very similar game to the last round of games we were yeah, playing. Yeah, it was overly similar to like pair up with this costume. Yeah. And like, also, what's the deal with like, if you're straight, you have to like someone in the house or else. Yeah, it's a rule. The rule, it's a rule. Like you have to fuck. You don't have an option, really. <laughs> um, this is like the culture of these shows. Yeah, the young single shows. Yeah, yeah. it's all about putting it in. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Luke re- returns, talks to Jessica, mm-hmm. and she got her point across. 
and he was fine with it. Mm -hmm. I think like everyone's, I think like the only person who's not really fine with it is Craig. (laughs) Cause he's a B. He's a B. But also Luke was being a little E. Okay. Towards Jessica. Yeah. Yeah. We are going to go work out and then drink right after. Like, or during somehow. <laughs> <laughs> like, I uh, like do a, like an arm curl with like a, a mug of beer. Yeah. yeah. A mug of beer. Oh, the culture no. of mugs of beer is funny. Oh, is that a, a stein? But I think there's like beer mug? mugs too. Beer mug. Oh my God. I remember like, oh, this is so sick. In college, there was a bar where you could buy a mug mm-hmm. and... Was it cold? No, no, no. You buy a physical plastic mug, right? Mm-hmm. And you bring it with you when you go when you come back to the bar. And your beer's cheaper. It's like just salad. Yeah, I don't know I don't know just salad culture, but I think the point is to save them time and effort in cleaning mugs. Because they're just refilling your mug all night and then you're taking your dirty mug home with you to clean. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? It that is interesting, sick. but it, that is just salad culture. You can buy a reusable mm. salad holder. What are those called? Bowls. Okay, bowls. Yeah, <laughs> but maybe, maybe they're on to something. That's like sounds like we're going green. Sounds like Al Gore approves. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I, like I was, I was yucking the yum, but maybe I should be yumming it. Yeah, now. you just talked yourself into actually appreciating that disgusting bar. Should I be bringing a mug with me everywhere I go? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like, it's also nice, like to have your preferred, well, I guess mm. they sell you one, but like it, to have like your preferred mm. cup. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, that would be like, yeah, yeah. Well, cause I think, uh, for them on the mug was the bar. Mm-hmm. So you're like promoting it when it's like in your home. Yeah. Promoting <laughs> <Promo>. it. <laughs> like as if we had like 25 bars to go to. It was like three options. Yeah. Wow. Do you want to shout out that bar? Uh, could I remember the name? O'Malley's? Oh, that's the bar from fucking Family Stone. <laughs> so am I just dreaming this up? Like, Brad Stevenson. Listen, there's, it's actually, we're coming up. We're coming up on... A, in a few years, a 20 year <laughs> from graduation. So. Oh, so there could be turnover from when I was there. True. Things yeah. change. Things change places, people. Okay. Uh, we're calling the Toms on, on FaceTime. I do think like the Toms were the right decision for the moment. I agree. We need, like, we definitely need Vanderpump Rules back in the culture. Mm. Like, I don't know if that's true. But, I mean, Bravo does. They need it top of mind for people. They still are pushing that show. It's going to be a good season, probably, because there's a lot going on. Um, But, yeah, the the Toms are palatable. Yeah. It's just, with Pump, I just, like, I don't like anyone, really. Katie Maloney? Not really. I love Katie Maloney. Not (laughs) really. Uh, Saints and Sinners and Sushi, this felt like three minutes, but it wasn't a two to be continued. Right. Did and we put all that effort for nothing? Just like these themes. Yeah. It's a lot. And like that, I don't like, I love Winter House. I loved when we did Winter House, but could you imagine having to like dress up in a stupid look every night? No. I want to like sleep outside and freeze. In the cold. <laughs> oh my God. Then I would have maybe gotten to bed. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. You would have lucked out. <laughs> Okay, I think that's it for winter, right? Yeah. Okay, Potomac. I do think this was more of like um, a bridge episode. Yeah, throwaway episode. Uh, th- not a lot went on, but I liked being with our friends. Mm. We we're picking up with like Wendy and Eddie for a while, and like the question I'm asking is like, is Wendy filming with anyone? This I know. Season? Doesn't it feel disconnected? And like, but Eddie is asking the right questions. Mm. Yeah. It's like, why, why are we doing this? Why are we doing like we we're starting like two we're the rate is like two businesses a year at this yeah, point. Yeah, it's like what happened to the candles? Mm. Why are we not talking about the book? That's I know. gonna become the book that released when the show premiered. Did it do well? I wasn't tracking the 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 charts, but I feel like there wasn't the buzz there. Yeah, I don't know. I, and I'm a Wendy fan, but like I feel like we're we haven't landed yet 
with her this season. Well, like I kind of was talking about it last week. It's like, mm. I don't really get what we're doing here. Mm. Mm. And I think I was a little harsh last week, but like it's, we're, it's a ship that needs steering. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I do think on the other hand, Robin is having a really fun season. Mm-hmm. Although, although this event is a shit show. I love it. From like top to bottom. I love it. It's perfectly Robin. She's like pre-planning it sort of with the kids and Juan. Like we had to do a practice race. Yeah. But Juan's not coming to actual family day. Yeah. Yeah. I do love like the kids making fun of Juan. Mm -hmm. That was fun. And then like Robin is giving Juan her strategy of inviting Wendy's kids through Auntie Candace. What do you think about this? Can the Grand Dame not take a sick day? (laughs) (laughs) This is not right. Like, it's psycho. It's so delusional. But that, that I kind of like it because it's like... A yeah, new, the delusion's fun. It's a new thing we haven't seen before. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, but as a parent, which you aren't... <laughs> <laughs> which I'm not, yeah. Um, what would you think if you were Wendy? Exactly what you said. You, I am not welcome here, but my children are welcome here. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to send my my children to a place where I'm not welcome. I know. And then Robin's like, see, it's not about the kids. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a real gotcha <laughs> moment. <laughs> you know, I mean, I love Robin, but like, I and I think like, she, I think she knows she's wrong, but it's an easy thing to be wrong about. I think it's like, we're having fun here Mm-mm. with her. We're having fun with Karen throwing away the dirty bird. <laughs> we're, we're just digging through the the freezer, <laughs> finding chicken and throwing it out while on FaceTime with Raven. Yeah, and then we're like, we're doing, we're putting the thing in a stand. Mm, I did love that little stand. You should get, you might need one. Mm, okay, okay. If your TikTok career is going to take off, you're going to need the stand. <laughs> I'm going to need the stand. Raven, I, I got to say... From when we first met her, she didn't even register with me. But then I think, you know, leading up to Karen's two episode Mm spinoff, then the two episode Mm spinoff itself, and now where we are now, Mm -hmm. I want more Raven all the time. Well, it's tough because it's like she's a grown woman, so she's not in the Mm -hmm. house, so you don't get to spend as much time with her. She's in New York. Yeah. Get her in Summer House. Let's get her in Summer House. Throw her and Ali Shapiro in there. No. (laughs) Actually, like the Ali Shapiro is a is a no and a yes from me. Yeah, I it's just like I want to see. So she has like a boyfriend now. I want to see like their dynamics. Ooh. Like posted. I don't know if he's been posted. So then, how do you know? Because Jill's running her mouth. Yeah, thirsty. Yeah, Jill's <laughs> the thirstiest housewife, and she's running her mouth. God, Tamra. Okay, Ashley. Ashley is filmed with a random woman every episode. I know year. when when she was going to the door, I was like, "Oh, who's it? Who's gonna come through?" Well, I thought it was gonna be like maybe Deborah again. Yeah, no, but, but it's like Antia. No, who we get a flashback was like filming the Virginia Beach Pride event on her phone, <laughs> oh, yeah. singing "Coffee and, and a, Love," and she's also a publicist for it seems like. Uh, freelancing as a publicist we need like Giselle in the room or something mm. please so we're like coming up with our messaging which I the messaging was great mm-hmm. standard uh, but lo and behold at the end of that is it too late to run the message because yeah. it gets leaked but then the question is who's the leaker there's a leaky pipe who do you think it is I don't people online were saying that it's actually Ashley herself probably I don't know Maybe okay. Uncle Lump. Yeah, I would hope. He gets like the ball rolling with her like hiring an attorney. He should be like a fucking official friend of, I mm. think. Give him a confess. Is he LGBT? No. No. Okay. <laughs> I think he's I think like the other woman in the room is his wife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh let's let's head to the family fun day. Okay. While we're driving there, Mia is talking to G. 
and it always like shocks me when housewives do this when they talk about like hard hitting subjects in front of the kids. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a shock to me. Yeah, you gotta like, keep it hush hush. Like I know cameras are up and like obviously it's open to the world, but like let them get to it. You mm-hmm. know, I don't know. Is your house gonna be one full of secrets? Mm-hmm. It's a house of <laughs> secrets. <laughs> We are seeing Jacqueline again and her PP. Good. Her parenting partner. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she is, I got to give her credit for like making an effort and like getting in there. Mm-hmm. But I'm not sure she's in there. She had a, a good start. It, in the very first party when she was speaking up for Mia and mm-hmm. Wendy was like, not to be rude, but who are you? Yeah. Maybe she got a little scared. She needs to really get in there more. Yeah. She needs she, to give Angie H. I, no, she needs to give Dana. Because, like, here's the thing. Dana, we met, mm-hmm. and we knew she was a housewife. Mm-hmm. Jacqueline's not popping off the screen like some of these other women do when they show up. Yeah. She looks like one, just one of the girls. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I get you. <laughs> but... <laughs> I mean, they, can Garen take a sick day? To me, is the line of the week. <laughs> it is for sure. It's just, it's, it's just like so funny on like, like, like as if like not showing up to filming is a sick mm-hmm. day. I also just I'm obsessed with Karen not wanting anything to do with Cha Cha. I mean, I'm dying to know what. There's a reason for the season, right? Cha Cha has some news. I know. Give us the report. Cha-cha. So she runs away after playing the potato sack race because she loses her breath mm-hmm. and <laughs> needs to... She's also, like, wearing a mask while jumping. Mm. Okay. But, like, n- did did we not get a call sheet? I don't know how it works. Because Karen's arriving late. Mm-hmm. Then Candace is arriving late. Mm-hmm. By the time Ashley's c- coming, like, are we leaving? People are leaving already. <laughs> And the babies are crying. Babies are screaming. Babies are crying. Mm-hmm. And then we got what looks like it's only going to be part one of two of Candace and Ashley's friendship. Oh, yeah. Because the preview for next week showed like their sisterly moment and, and then the them dissolution. screaming. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they created an LLC and just alluded the LLC in the same episode. I know. Episode. It's wild. Also, I have a question. How well did the kids know the other women? Because sometimes I can't tell, like, when we're we're meeting some of the kids, it's, like, for the first time. Sometimes it's not. Who are you thinking of specifically? So I think, like, Mia's kid, like, meeting Robin, was this a first-time event? I mean, Mia's kids are very young. Right. But I mean, like, how often are these people bringing the kids around? Yeah. Like, d- d- does Dean know who Giselle is? I, well, though, that's a toddler. Yeah. I mean, I, like, on the other hand, like, Robin's kids... Giselle's kids. Well, no, that I know. They all know. Every, like, Candace ignoring Giselle and saying, Grace! Yes. Love That's it. That's so bad, because Grace knows. Grace is not a toddler. Grace I know. knows that I know. Candace is ignoring Giselle. I love it. Wow. Stuff. Uh, yeah. Can't wait for next week. Real Girlies of Paris finale. Oh. <sighs> Season finale? Hopefully season finale, not series finale. I mean, and I do got to say, like, this episode was one to watch. Mm-hmm. This show has gotten increasingly better every single week. I think the past four episodes, they realized they're on Bravo. Like, me. Did they not get the cue that they were on Bravo the first half? I don't know. It's also like at the beginning, I think they were truly kind of Strangers. just getting to know each other. Yeah. I think it feels like only Margot and Victoria knew each other. Yeah. Right? I think so. I don't know any other line between girls. Yeah, I think so. And But like they actually have all gotten to know each other in like what feels like a real way. Mm, yeah. I, I mean, there's obviously different factions to the group. Like obviously Victoria and Margot are closer. Yeah. And then like Anya and Aja have become besties. Mm. And then, like, Anya was spending time Halloween with Emily. Yeah, present day. Present day. Okay. So we're kind of, we're doing the classic housewives wrap up 
singular storylines. Mm-hmm. Emily had the family install installing the curtains at oh god Sonia Sonia Morgan no <laughs> Sonia Morgan New York yes <laughs> no. I'm like so upset that I don't know because like obviously I know Chloe Collette but S- Sonia Caratel no I don't know that's not a... I this was you could tell the boss never had any confidence in her mm. so when they were up. I think there were, everyone was a little surprised in general. I, the the brothers came ready to film. Yes, of course. The mom was not ready to film. No. The brothers knew they were creating television. This is their one chance. It's like they've watched the Manzo brothers. We got to create antics. This is our moment. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't bring like ham to throw at each other. <laughs> no, they're just throwing the, ah, the curtain rods. And like this was not actually what I what I had. This is not the vision I had for the curtains. Sure, I thought it was gonna be like like a Parisian mm-hmm. black, like steel, curvy. You didn't thing. you didn't pay attention when she was showing the examples of what she wanted to do. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like. Why dress up something that doesn't need to be dressed up? The window is beautiful itself. Yeah. But like, but as Emily says, she walks into every room thinking like, I need to change the. Yeah. The and I guess treatments. like, it's probably good for a showroom to not be in direct sunlight all the time. Cause it can like mm, alter the fabrics, alter the fabrics or whatever. Mm, yeah. It also felt, why aren't the brothers able to like go in before the two hour slot where they have to no. get everything done? No. Because we're making television. (laughs) (laughs) And like, it's wild to be trusting Emily to do the measurements. No offense to her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Asha. Mm. We've been on like a roller coaster for just a few episodes with this man. Mm -hmm. And I can't, I can't figure out like, are we together? Are we breaking? I thought we were going to like potentially split up while I moved to New York for a few months. Yeah. Are we together in modern day? But now we're, but now we're like getting postcards from the mother. Yeah. The mother's like, can't wait for you to visit. I mean, Aja's doing, I think some of the best confessional work. I think Aja and Victoria are the, well, Aja, Victoria and Anya are the confessional queens. Mm -hmm. They're all confessional queens. What am I saying? They're all brilliant, brilliant, Um, brilliant people. Yeah, so Aja, we're kind of like, she's learning that she's deserving of love. Yeah, and that's beautiful, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, we got Margot and her dad mm-hmm. showing him the garments. Mm-hmm. And like, I don't know what she wanted, a cartwheel from this 80-year-old man. I know. Wild. She was like, I was disappointed with his reaction. There's no evidence of this man on Aja's um, mm. Instagram modern day. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. Which is sad. Oh, it's sad. Yeah. Yeah, so th- we got the slip dresses. But it was... I, I, I got to give credit to whoever it is, and I don't remember who, who it was. But it's fu- whoever pointed out, like, oh, Margot <laughs> got together in five days. <laughs> what, like... Victoria. Victoria did in five months. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Victoria. Oh, Victor. I mean, Victoria and this girl from England. Uh huh. Just like nervously laughing for like days straight. Like the day that they meet in person, and then they're still nervously laughing as they're going onto the boat. That's what you do when you when find you're in love. love. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lesson learned. Yeah. Yeah, I, there was a lot of like build up for this girl. I know. It didn't really, it wasn't satisfying to me, unfortunately. Yeah, I wonder if like present day they're together. Oh, I don't even <laughs> want to start looking that. I know, I know. <laughs> I know you're, it's not like something you want to be <laughs> the truth. With Anya, it felt more like we're just uh, recouping from the event because we have the sit down with Aja mm-hmm. in the coffee shop. They're not going to work together again. But they're still besties. Yeah, they're still besties. Yeah, so that's okay. Sometimes you need to like draw lines. Mm-mm. Yeah. And then uh, we just have our big event. We're on a boat. I mean, this felt like, let's, this felt like Orange County 
Housewives finale party. Yes, yes. Like, let's get everyone here. Let's have a little bit of drama. Let's have some drama. Girls, sit, sit over down. there and get to work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and get to work they did. Like, we had, we had like, the sit down, the screaming, the crying, mm-hmm. the toast, the hug. Mm-hmm. We had it all. We went through a full fucking Housewives season <laughs> in one little party. In one party. And... I got to say, everyone, all five of them, were giving a performance of a lifetime during the sit-down. Mm-hmm. Everyone brought something to it. Mm-hmm. Like, obviously, Victoria brought the the rage. The crazy. <laughs> the crazed rage. Mm-hmm. And keep your eyes on Margot, because she's comforting her, but she's kind of laughing at Victoria. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And like Mamania is like the one trying to cool it. Mm-hmm. I think Aja was originally the focus of the rage mm-hmm. until Emily started laughing at Victoria. Yes. <laughs> it was just like ping pong and all over the place. And the thing is, it's like I wish people were watching. Mm. But I, according to you on Reddit, they got three hundred upvotes. <laughs> It's more like 395. Uh, almost 400 upvotes. No, I mean, like, on Reddit, people are talking about it positively, and they have been mm-hmm. for weeks now. And we're talking about it positively. Mm-hmm. So. It's just like you can't you can't force people to sit down and watch. Yeah. And then when you hide it after Watch What Happens Live, when Watch oh. What Happens Live is supposed to be the after show for all these shows. Well, you know what's funny? I think this was the first week in a few weeks that it was actually back in its normal slot. Mm-hmm. So it's like, if you're even a fan, you never even know when it's airing. I know. So how am I supposed to keep up? I get so confused too because I thought this week Salt Lake City was starting at eight, but mm. then I thought I read that somewhere. But then mm. I'm tuning in at eight. Fake news. Yeah. No reunion. Yeah. Let's get cameras up. Oh, did you notice? Let's end it on this. Did you notice the voiceover work that Aja had to do, including Casey, in like the the final girl speech? Mm-hmm. That's interesting. But like. I think production wise, how did we not get Casey on FaceTime at least it's for the wild. final episode? It's wild. <laughs> like this girl was a cast member for a half of the season. It actually kind of feels like older Bravo shows, like for example, like um Kel on Earth, mm-hmm. where there are people who'd be prominent in the beginning part of the season. Come and, go. and then they'd just be gone because sure. they no longer work there. Okay. So it actually felt mm, right. Natural. Yeah. 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 Okay. Let's get to Salt Lake City, which I think finally has a chance to breathe. Yes. I think there wasn't a lot of conversation happening in Salt Lake City because Beverly Hills, there was so much. Mm. And now the girls can like finally spread their wings. I mean, Angie Harrington arrived at the exact right time. Yeah, I- it's almost as if they planned this. I know. Like, let's save Angie for when Beverly Hills is wrapping up. There is a new star. Just <laughs> knock no, on wood, knock on wood, knock on wood, no, knock on wood. We already know, because we like her too much. <laughs> but, like, the thing is, here's one thing. Right now, she's the only one who's kind of like, why are we rah rah Jen Shah? Exactly. And she doesn't even really have anything against Jen Shah. But, and, and, I, and this is, like, for next week, actually. But, like... It's included in this week, too, because because mm-hmm. it's all building up. Jen's getting riled up this week about... Jen's getting riled up Shaw about Shaw Exposed. Exposed. Shaw Exposed, the hit Instagram account, which we come to learn is an account that had no posts and only ever commented on one singular post <laughs> about Lisa Barla. <laughs> It's like, it should be called Barlow Exposed, but because of like, just like, it almost goes with the chaos of these fan accounts who one day they're like against one person and then one day they're against someone else. The the funny thing is, is Jen Shaw's reaction of just being like, Shaw Exposed as if I'm not dealing with enough. And it's like, he 
did not expose anything. In the mental gymnastics that she talks about where like if it was Jen Shaw exposed, it'd be fine. Mm -hmm. Or if it was like Jen exposed, it'd be fine. But it's it's like Coach Shaw. It's Coach Shaw. It's the it's kids. Omar. Yeah. <laughs> it's Sharif Jr. Wow. Yeah. I, I mean, like, the thing is good. I love the chaos. Yeah. It's just this kind of drama is giving a decade ago Bravo, which mm. is fun and interesting. And I don't want to gas anyone up, but it's just like, it feels like Angie and Chris. Chris yeah. have really come to play. Like, and like Chris works for a company. Like, <laughs> meanwhile, we got someone getting fired from a company. I know. And Lisa Barlow is trying to get Chris fired right now online. <laughs> like we're getting them one by one by <laughs> one. Oh my God. Okay. The, the Justin Wild Rose. <laughs> the way we're also talking about the Justin Wild Rose of it all. And <laughs> we're having to talk around... We're having to talk around Whitney being a real housewife mm. in this conversation. And the I am a public figure. Yeah. <laughs> Just because I'm a public figure and I'm successful. <laughs> they want to bring my husband down. And all I have to say is this company is shit. <laughs> I can't believe she said that in the confessional. It was so jarring. And just like them talking about them doing art naked or whatever they did. I mean, here's the thing. I do think that was the breaking point. Like mm -hmm. they didn't have a problem with her being on the show for the first season. No. But it, it, if you do clownery, the clown, the clown comes back to bite. Exactly. <laughs> Put on those clown shoes. Also speak while we're talking about like fourth wall stuff, mm. every time they refer to in LA, mm. they're talking about the reunion. I know. Couldn't someone say like, Hey, over in Potomac, we're talking about the reunion. I think the producers told them to say in LA. I know, I know, but let's let's all get on the same page for sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, Heather Gay bringing us something totally brand new. Good. <laughs> I see people knocking it, and I'm saying yes, and yeah, it's the choir. Yeah, we should be in a choir. Okay, I did a little digging. Okay, and I brought it to your attention. The choir, yeah. the choir leader <laughs> uh, runs an account and podcast called The Real, I, I, I might be getting this wrong, The Real House Bears mm -hmm. of Salt Lake City. Mm -hmm. And they're a Bravo account, a Bravo podcast, and now a cast member. Why aren't we cast members? <laughs> I, but, but, I don't... I don't think that that's something you want in actuality. And I don't think it's something I want. If I could either. hang out with Jenna Lyons. Mm, well, that's a different, that's a different story. It's like, yeah. let's get, let's get back into the J crew like designer room. Yeah. Let's, let's which she famously hasn't been, had anything to do with in years. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's something to, to like put in your pipe and smoke. Were you ever in like, a church choir or like any like involved in church like that at all. I mean, they didn't want to like, let me be confirmed. Cause you were, <laughs> cause I was a uh, wrist, uh, <laughs> weak wrested. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I think I just like, I knew too much. You know? <laughs> oh, I did my, um, church's like passion play for several you years. Would. In a row. You would. Yeah. I was always a soldier. <laughs> you got soul, but you're not a soul. And I think I had a crush on the guy who played Jesus year after year. Mm, well, that, that tracks. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I wasn't like religious schools for most of my education. Oh I yeah. Think. Yeah. But like, it was never like, I was like, okay, good. Mm. <laughs> we, I went to public school, but we had to go to like, we had to go to the church to do school every week. See that I'd rather be in the opposite. Cause at least it's all just like mishmashed in. I don't want to have to go do something like when I could be playing video games. Right. Yeah. That's like annoying. We hated it. It was called CCD, yeah, which course. I think is common. Uh, yeah. No, but then they changed stars because people started calling it the Cobb County dump. And so <laughs> they changed it to PSR. And what does that stand for? Parish school of religion. Mm, okay. 
Okay. Macabre. macabre. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm sure they could come up with something for PSR yeah. too. The pieces, the piece of shit go more every day. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm excited for the the choir journey. Me too. And like to do American Idol, that's fun. Yeah. I mean, we've had American Idol on these programs before. I have a question. So with these American Idol auditions, so Meredith, for some reason, gets to be a judge. Jen gets to be Ryan Seacrest. But then Whitney Rose and Angie have to wait in line to audition. And Lisa has to sing Away in a Manger. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa singing for, for John Barlow. Beautiful. Iconography. Lisa, John Barlow, and... Jack Barlow, uh huh, discussing Fudge University. What you said about him, mm. he's listening to the wrong voices, and I think uh, John Barlow is. John is in on that, getting in on that, hitting the nail on the head, hitting the nail on the head. Um, I was with Lisa Barlow, and she was like, "Can me and Whitney just like go to a meal or go get a drink? <laughs> Why do we always have to be doing yoga? Why do I have to go to Heather?" <laughs> I like this is not an impression podcast, but like the Whitney, I feel like Whitney is at like 11 this year. Yeah. With with like the way she speaks. With the way she speaks. And like, she's also like doing the intros and stuff like that. Mm. So you hear it more. Previously. <laughs> it's not, it kind of sounds like Cartman, like previously. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow. Oh. Yeah. Um, She's listening to the wrong voices, too. Well, Whitney's like, yeah, Lisa Barlow's my ride or die. I'll kill for her. <laughs> but like, why? Why will you kill for her? <laughs> but also, we're, we're not at the point yet in this season where, like, everything is lined up with who's with who. And I think none of it's making Because, like, in present day, Angie Harrington is on the side of... Jen Shaw. Heather Gay, Jen Shaw, Meredith Marks. Yes. So right now, Angie Harrington and Jen Shaw are screaming at each other. Mm-hmm. Whitney Wild Rose and... Um, Heather. No, Whitney Wild Rose, Lisa, and Angie K are arm-in-arm together. Angie mm-hmm. K's... Squ- and, no, and then on the show, Whitney's arm-in-arm with... Angie H. So like everything's still not where it needs to be. That's why when watching last night, we were texting and I was like, who is the woman <laughs> with Angie H who looks just like Whitney? <laughs> I, I love that. It's like, like Angie H is on the screen and you're certain of that. But the main cast member were unsure. <laughs> we're unsure if that is the person we're looking at. Something just like, there's something about Angie H that just like, Caught my eye. It's the it's the personality of it all. Yeah. The Sarah Paulson. Yeah, it's that and just like there's something Wilkie Wilkie in Wilkie- about her. Wilkie <laughs> no, 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 sound like no. I'm saying Wakili. No, not Wakili. Dana Wilkie. There's yeah. something Dana Wilkie, Wilkie about her energy. Yeah. And just like I think she's willing to she didn't get the role the first year. Mm. And I think she really, really wants it. I wonder, I wonder is the only reason these three gals are friends is that they missed the Sedona trip. Oh, yeah. Cause I think we're, we're holding auditions for the choir on the show and we're <laughs> holding the audition still for friend of. But I do think this is like episode five right now. Yeah. Maybe even six, five, at least five. So maybe that's why none of these gals are holding a snowflake because mm-hmm. it was like they felt like it was too late. We're not in the Sonia Morgan era anymore. Yeah, exactly. Or the Catherine Edwards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those days are long behind us. The dog days are over. Okay, yeah, I I'm having fun with the snow bunnies. Me too. Okay, a freak of the week and the one true queen. I mean, this week it is really focusing on stuff that we have. Um, Discussed, but I think deserves special attention. Yeah, the freak is going to be society at large for ignoring the real girlfriends in Paris. And that's going to include 
viewers. It could include some listeners of this podcast. Listeners of this podcast. Production. Bravo. Bravo. Andy. 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 Andy, get the girls in a chair. Yeah. We had them behind the bar, but that's not enough. That's not enough. That's like... That's like back... Remember back in the day in Summer House, they used to be behind the bar? Yeah. And then... Did we not learn lessons from that? I mean, we're we're still putting like Alaska behind the bar, mm. which also feels wrong. Yeah, yeah. I I think we're putting Taylor uh, Taylor Hale behind the bar from Big Brother. Oh, yeah. Let's get her in the seat. She could chat up for a half hour. She won a whole TV show. She should on be CBS. on with Candace. That would have been casting. That's TV. That would have been TV. That would have been TV. Because Candace hasn't been on Watch Heaven's Live yet. Go, I mean, get her in the chair with Taylor Hale. But I think like it's something else. I think like Robin is on with like someone else. Oh no, Robin was just on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wendy? Maybe it's Wendy. I don't know. Anywho, yeah, Paris. Paris is burning. <laughs> Paris is burning. <laughs> Dan's going to Paris. Uh, and it's like, I feel like the time's right. Do you think you'll see any of the girls? Should I like lurk the museum? You need to like look at every episode to everywhere they went and go. Go to the. I know that you don't eat cheese, but go to the Vermage. No, I would. I was while we were watching the finale. I was thinking that place where they got the espresso martini in the morning. Yeah, and that cozy little cafe. And then you can go to the other place where she got the hot dog. No, I'm gonna know and the hot dog. No, but oh would... the Ritz. Oh yeah, the we're good. We Alex and I are going too. The Hemingway Bar at the Ritz, hoping to see Anya. Oh no, but they went to the American Bar. That's the what American Bar, about. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, so we'll go there. That looked nice. We'll go there, and we'll go into the Hemingway Bar. Will you have to wear like a suit to go to the Hemingway Bar? Mm, okay, uh, I guess I'll have to like buy something while I'm there. You should look up because, like, I think the Ritz has dress code. Dress code. Yeah, I do think I have to like look. A little nice for afternoon tea. Yeah. Right? Probably. Yeah. We're a fastener. Fascinator. <laughs> I'm going to fascinate those bitches. Okay. Our one true queen. The question is, are you a Candace fan? I hope the answer is yes, because Candace is our one true queen. I literally bought the biggest Candace fan. <laughs> is Brendan a Candace fan? Yeah. He has the proof. I, I am the fan. He bought me the vinyl. Yeah. We bought tickets. I've front row so tickets. much money. Candace, you have so much of our money. Put it towards the next album, please. No, I mean, oof. if there's another leg, girls, sign you up. Yeah, get to walking. <laughs> get to walking. Get get your spacesuit on and blast off. Wow. Wow, what a week. Uh, as we mentioned top of the show, your Patreon content is on fire. We're talking more about DC. We're talking about Housewives on Instagram. And speaking of that, head on over to comethroughqueen.com. Links to the Come Through Queen Instagram. Links mm-hmm. to socials for both of us. Links to the private Facebook group. And the new episode each week. So like, comment, subscribe, heart, share, retweet. Love us, love us, please retweet. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. See ya, come through, queen.